good. Sue, right there, great. Randy Carmen, you make it. We got good. We got our lay leader Jay. I mean, it's so good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Joseph Jones here somewhere. Hey, hey, good morning. Good. 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 I got it right out there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Right out there. Right out there. So what we decided we're going to do is just burn it and then run inside and we'll do all the ceremony in there. Okay? You're welcome. Uh, the people I just named, get some of the papers there and we'll set them afire. So you're part of, uh, the people I named are part of either getting us into this excitement or getting us out of it. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Mike and Eric, you all got to start in the beginning. Pretty close to the beginning. Why don't we get you going over there? All right. Oh, boy. What do you mean? Oh, no. We need some... Uh, Bring lighter fluid? Yeah, lighter fluid. There you go. Let's get it again. Yay! Yeah. Where's the Boy Scouts at work? That's right. And Girl Scouts. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! Woo! That's good, Mike. Yeah, you got it down there. Yeah. Now we're good. Yeah. All right. Burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. burn, baby, burn. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, it's how, how appropriate. Free at last, free at last. <laughs> 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 Woo! Now it's flowing. Oh. 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 Awesome. Yes, it, it feels it's so good, so good to have it burn. <laughs> <laughs> we need some more paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't feel like $4 million worth of paper. <laughs> <laughs> 4 point two. <laughs> 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 Got it. Oh, very good. good. All, right. All right, we'll go inside for the Thank comments. You. Okay. <laughs> I didn't make it to your house. No, no. I'm coming. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now let's pull that little out. Okay. Come Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. This is an exciting day in the life of the church. It's something. We've all been part of at various levels. Some of you have been through the whole deal, and we are very thankful for, for all who have. So, uh, we're going to begin. If he's going to get us started, we'll go from there. Let's privilege the world to God here. It's a good day to celebrate. Uh, well, a song I love by Brad Paisley is called Welcome to the Future. It talks about those moments when you look back and you see the way ways you've grown. I think that's really what we're celebrating today. It's, it's a celebration of the future, not that the future is going to be cold and rainy, <laughs> but, but an acknowledgement also of how connected the future is to the past. And you guys, a lot of you guys have been involved in this since, since the early days. You had a vision for the future. And now we've reached a, mile, a milestone in the process of that visioning and the, the march forward. And there's going to be a lot of great things that happen on that field. And there already are but we want to thank you guys and, and also just offer this moment up to God and as we look back at the ways we've grown and we celebrate the ways we anticipated that continuing. I invite you to pray with you. Dear Lord, thank you for this milestone that we've reached. Thank you for all of those who have been faithfully giving, faithfully dreaming, and working towards making those dreams a reality. Thank you for all those who heard your call and responded in faith. We give thanks for our new field. We give thanks for a future of promise. And we pray that each day we will use the field and all that we have for the glory of your name and your son, Jesus Christ. Help him. Amen. So Jesus actually talked a little bit about fields. Um, I know it's not ideal that it's kind of weather today, but it is like... A reality of a field, isn't it? That you deal with what is on the field. Jesus pointed out that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. 
which someone found and hid, and in his joy he goes and sells all he has and buys that field. And uh, I don't think y'all found a treasure in the field, but you all under Dr. Alexander's leadership and, and back at the, the start of all this realized the treasure was the field, that, that having the campus grow in that direction meant we could expand um, our imagination of what ministry would be like here at Blaine Memorial in Merle's Inlet. So I am um, I'm very thankful for the people who were part of that decision and who have sought since then to bring it to reality. Not just that that would be um, within our scope, but that it would be something that could be part of our ministry. Uh, and it has been, and it will continue to be. So, of course, you all know the Reverend Dr. Mike Alexander, pastor here from 2005 to 2019. Um, he left a lot of great legacies for those who would come after him, or for me and others. And one of those is the field. And another one of those is that by the time I got here, the field debt was pretty low. So uh, he could have left the legacy of a great big old debt, but thankfully uh, worked hard between there and, and now. Other people who were part of that decision were... Uh, Larry Elliott was the board chair, board of trustees chair at that point. Uh, and, and part of the refinancing, Eric Cox and the building team was part of that along the way. Sue Byron, who was, is our lead, lead leader now, has helped us continue to move forward. Um, Joseph Jones was out there with us uh, as finance chair when the debt was paid off. Randy Carmen was the finance chair when it began. And of course, our current church council chair, Jay Sims, all were kind of ceremonially part of, of the burning of the note. But I asked Mike if he would come and, and remind some of you and then inform some of us kind of the story of, of getting uh, into that and through that and now bringing it to us. So Mike, would you share some? Please? Thanks so much, Will. First, I want to say of all the places you could have been, you chose to be here this morning. And for that, I'm grateful. Wow. How did we get into it? Let me tell you, we knew the property was going to uh, be put up for auction. And this whole community was stirred with that because some of us, and especially the church leadership, thought that if there was a giant boat storage place next to us, that that would cut this major road in half every day for a long time. Boats coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. And so right away, a group of us gathered together and we began to talk about maybe, maybe the church could spend a couple of million and buy the land. That's what we had hoped. We had a community gathering in this, right here in this room, right here in this Family Life Center where we talked about what might happen over there. And so quickly, we began to talk about maybe stepping out in faith and the church purchasing the land. Looking back on it, we didn't have a lot of naysayers. We had a few loud naysayers, but not many of them. And we had some who didn't like the idea that they weren't contacted when we did make the purchase. <coughs> and so for a long time, I kept hearing comments. You know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, people think that we are listening outside of rooms or listening to conversations. We don't. But there's always somebody who's ready to tell us what's being said. That's right. And so, so we really struggled as to how much we could pay we had determined to pay $2 million. The trustees, uh, church council chair and I, were over there at, uh, what's this restaurant right at, what's this, uh, Marshview? What is it? Now it's uh, Mojo's. Mojo's. Yeah, but it was Marshview. We gathered right over there. That's where the tent was, and we um, got involved in the auction. Now, Larry Elliott was the chair. He and I had signals about how far we could go. And so, Jay, you were there. We were, we were talking about signals and things to uh, 
because Larry had to do the bidding because he was the trustee chair. And uh, it kept going up higher and higher. And in no time, it was $2 million. And so all those guys started looking at me <laughs> and I kept giving the signal to go higher. <laughs> and uh, some of them weren't so sure and they would look at me again with <laughs> eyes wide open. And uh, we got it. It was a bidding war. We didn't want to pay $4.2 million for it, but somebody else wanted it as much as we did. And so when we made the 4.2, they, uh, they caved. They said, uh, no more. Um, you know, for years, I kept telling you, one day you're going to thank me <laughs> for spending $4.2 million. But I got to tell you, I don't know if you're ready to do that, but I'm here this morning to thank you. To thank you for trusting the church leadership, to thank you for trusting me, to thank you for doing the right thing. Now, some of you know we owned that property years ago. Then we got rid of it. And then we bought it back for 4.2 million. <laughs> now, if you want to sell it <laughs> and buy it back again, you're on your own. Because <laughs> I'm not in favor of that. But we we have something for the future. And the thing that we've got to remember is it's no longer about me, it's about you, but it's about the children who come after us. It's about the families that will come after us and use that, that property. And it's about a vision for the future. Adam Hamilton said that a church that's not in debt is a church that doesn't have a future. So don't wait too long to get back in debt. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> don't you wait too long to get back in debt. These have been extraordinarily difficult years. I came along, and when I left in 2019, I had no idea that COVID was going to affect us. Will and the rest of the ministerial team have stepped in. They've done an incredible job. You trust them as they lead you into the future. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for trusting me for spending $4.2 million. And you know what? We burned the note. You're out of debt. Yay. We do want to thank you, Mike, and thank you for your leadership in that and all those who were part of that and, difficult and, decision. And I want to tell you, Betsy was a prime mover behind me, too. And I want to thank her for what Betsy, you Betsy, thank you for a lot of ways that you've been part of my community. Thank you. We know that uh, his great leadership has a great deal to do with your wonderful service and your support, so we thank you for that. Uh, we want to thank God for the place we find ourselves in today. And so the song we sing best when we think about it is what we call the doxology, right? Jim, will you help us sing to God our praise? Please sing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. praise you. We praise you for the good and long standing ministry that this church has had, this 
place in your beautiful world. We're grateful that people since 1925 have seen this as a place to gather, and to love you and love neighbor, to serve you and serve others. And that we have continued over the course of that time to invite others into a life of faith and discipleship. That we have, as a church family, received your grace and offered it to others. Your salvation, your kindness, your mercy. We're grateful for those who were faithful enough to see the value in, in taking a leap of faith to, to reach out and purchase that land. And for those who have been faithful since to pay down the debt to the point where we are now land debt free. We are grateful for that and we're grateful to imagine with you. We pray you will guide our imaginations of what should be there next and how to make that happen. Now we will be a church that has a future that is good future that is reflective of your goodness in our lives. Lord, we praise you this day for all that this day means for the past, the present, and the future of this, your church. We pray all of this in Jesus' good and holy name. Amen. There's some refreshments in here. Go and celebrate. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.